that last time you was in there, did you make up your mind like, yo, I'm about to just do this rapping shit? Or was it like, you, when you got out, niggas was telling you like, bruh, you ain't good this shit. How, how did the rapping shit come about? All right, so for the, uh, last time, for the last time I went to jail and shit, uh, like I was on, uh, I want to say tour, but like I was on the road, young boy and shit, like, uh, they were on time, he dropped like, me to kick it though, I'm gonna find a stage spot. He dropped that song and shit, and it was like, uh, we used to be in the studio and shit, and uh, I used to be just turned up in the studio. Like, I was like, uh, I was like, Nigga, you call me like, like a studio vibe. Like, I was like a studio vibe. Like, I just turn up in the studio with a nigga. You hear me? Like, just going crazy in the studio. Nigga, like, man, Misha. Misha, man, rap, man. Rap. Like, just rap, man. What the fuck you got going on, bro? Just rap. Like, you got it. Like, you volatile, Like, everything you say, nigga. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's volatile, Like, it's facts or whatever. You feel me? Like, nigga, just like, then it was just like more than just like white bills. Like, Everybody around us was like, man, why the fuck you don't rap? Like, just rap or whatever. So, like, I just, I, I started rapping, but I wasn't making good songs and shit. Like, I just get on, get on a song and just start yelling. Just, la, 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 Then, uh, I say top, that nigga top head, uh, we had went to California and shit. We had stayed in California for like three, four months and shit. That nigga top. I was going to the studio with YB like every fucking day. YB used to be in the studio like really coaching nigga like, talk about this, calm down, like say it this way or like, oh, uh, like you ain't got to yell or like, oh, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like telling nigga what to say or like, yeah, I'm gonna cap like a lot of time like telling nigga what to say or like, you know, shit like that. Just rap, like, so I think that's where it came from or whatever. So, I mean, how does it feel to be around, like, he, he's the biggest artist in the game right now, you feel me? Um, like, how does it feel to be around young boy? You know? I don't know. I'm, like, sometimes, like, like all the cousins shit get played out, like, oh, I do look at, oh, I do look at Top, like, he the biggest artist, like, it's just like, I don't know if, like, you was playing ball, right, and, uh, you had LeBron, on the same team as you. So like, that's a big mentor or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate like everything. Like, it be a lot of shit like people don't see or like, like the advice he give a nigga, even though he my younger cousin, like the advice he give a nigga, like, you know, like, stay out the streets, like, like go to the studio, like, like record about different shit or like, you know, you ain't really gotta talk about like dope. You ain't really gotta like, you know, speak on what's going on with your life or like all the advice to give a nigga like, uh not even as well like advice about like what to rap about and shit like the advice of like rap like this or like say say this this way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whatever it's like uh I don't know, it's like I don't know, he like he really like my mentor, even though he my younger cousin. Like he really gave me the game, or like he really gave me the game, or like you know what I'm saying? It's just a little different. Like, I, like I can I can tell a love. Like sometimes we get in the studio and like they gotta kick everybody out the studio and like we're really getting that bitch and just get to practice and like well, you hear me? Like, like freestyle and like you know like he a, he a real like mentor like. Even though he's younger than me, he like a real mentor. Yeah. So like, you know, it's perfect. Like, some shit a lot of people wish for and shit, you know. Yeah. Now I, I know you just mentioned that, you know what I'm saying? A uh, young boy, he, he tells you, you know what I'm saying, not to really rap too much about your lifestyle and shit. Um, and your music, you know what I'm saying, I feel like it's very vivid, you know what I'm saying? You can, you paint pictures and you can see what you're talking about. All right. Um, do you kind of got to watch what you say on the lyrics, though? Because, you know, the cops, niggas be listening, you know what I'm saying? And you got to, you know, niggas know you. I mean, you know, yeah, I think that's what every nigga know. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch what you say. But, yeah, so in the song Steppers, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't got to go into detail about this, but in the song, in the song Steppers, you said you got shot at 30 times. Is that real or you don't want to talk about it on the camera? 
Alright. Well, look, though, so, like, who are some of your inspirations coming up, though, man? Like, I know it seems like you kind of, your beats be like Webby type beats, you know what I'm saying? You rapped over the Buck Duck and Fucked Up beat. That was hard, you know what I'm saying? Who were some of your people that you was bumping when you was coming up? I'm a real band, real band. I'm a real rack, baby. Like, shit, I listen to, uh, you go all the way back, like, shit, like, Concentration Camp, like, CeeLo, uh, that, uh, CeeLo, if y'all don't know, like, uh, CeeLo was the nigga that boosted that first sign to and shit, like, when, uh, the green and yellow CD and shit like that, that, like, probably not, I ain't count, though, I'm doing that bad, though, like, before the green and yellow CD and shit, like, the, uh, yeah. like, this for my thugs, my thugs, like, oh, yeah. all that shit like that, like, CeeLo, uh, like, Max Manelli, I'm a real, like, like a real, like, uh, I ain't from New Orleans here, but like, I'm a real, like, I'm influenced by their music, like, so is a slim, BG, or uh, like the whole high boy era, like, uh, you know, I don't stand between that. I fuck with, I fuck with all their kids and shit, like, the the No Limit, the Cash Money shit, the, uh, I did like a whole bunch of Louisiana shit, but like, uh, really just like, really like hats though, like, uh, you know, man, hats from the same neighborhood and shit, like, I used to be in the bottom when I was a little boy and shit. Like, I used to be in the bottom and shit. Like, I remember being on Post Street when Boosie used to come down on Post Street and his charge and shit, and he used to run behind the charge and shit. Like, I like, just real, like, just like a whole bunch of Louisiana music and shit. I never really, like, you know, we ain't had YouTube and shit like that. Like, I was really just, like, based off of what my mom and them was listening to and, like, what my cousin and them was listening to and shit like that. Like, there were, like, a lot of Boosie, like, a trillion chain with me. Uh, Big Head, the Dome Doctor, uh, CeeLo, um, Juvenile, my favorite album, you know what I'm saying? 400 Degrees, my favorite album. So, I like shit like that, like real life. I seen in the stepping video, you paid homage to uh, Lil Wayne, the baller blocking joke. I'm a turn real floor, I pay homage to that. I pay homage to Wayne, and I pay homage to Slim. Yeah. Man, I had Slim, I had Slim, I had Slim sign in the video. Oh, uh, so was a, so was a slum, and I had uh, I had the Ty, I had Ty in the video. That's uh, that's BG son, yeah. and uh, and we shot that shit in the heart, of, in the heart of the hood in New Orleans, and in front they got this big ass what that word is mirror, like yeah, mirror. Had big ass picture of slum. You know what I'm saying? Like we shot that shit. Then they had a second line going on. I don't know y'all know what the second line is, but. They had a second line going on the whole time we shooting a video. She crazy. Yeah. So in the butt up and fucked up song, man, you said you started fucking with the fat bitches for the income tax. Dick them down, dick them down, get them out that income tax. <laughs> that shit was real, bro. Turn me up, huh? <laughs> Turn me up, huh? <laughs> I thought you nigga, I thought you nigga be on some type of time like that. You know. Like it. Fuck it. In December. They get cold and shit. Oh, cut on one of you, one of them fat hoes, man. <laughs> they ain't gonna take coming in 90 days, bro. You're a tail, bro. Word. Now, the top, like, <clears throat> how is you and your boy related, bro? A lot of people don't know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, um, uh, young boy, grandmother. And my grandfather is brothers and sisters. My mom and young boy, gran my mom and young boy, mama is first cousins. So me and young boy, are second cousin. Word. What's a, like? What's a crazy like story that you got with young boy? Like coming up, like something that's funny that stood out. No, like uh, at one point, shit. YB used to uh, like stay with my mom and shit. But like I was like grown at the time. I want to stay with my mom and shit. But like. Man, the nigga ain't never want to go to school and shit. That bitch will, like skip school, the nigga drop him off of school, he'll leave school and shit like that. Like nigga just fucked up and shit. Like so one day, like I pull up in the bottom and shit. I guess the school had called called his mama, called my mama, whoever. Like man, what can trail at? What who can trail ain't that school or whatever? Blase, blase. So in the meantime, I had pulled up by my mom's house, and he was at my mom's house and shit. 
So I had to hide this nigga for like about four hours and shit, man, bro. Like, asking me where he at and shit. They called my phone, asking me where he at, and he in the back seat and shit like that. Like, just like him skipping school. Like, this happened a lot of times, though. It's like not one time. Like, that nigga just ain't like going to school. Like, he'll go to school. Like, he'll go to school and just leave school. Or like, I don't know. Dumb story, like fun as a bitch, cause it always happened. Like yeah. that nigga wasn't fucking with school at all, like for real, for real. Well, and you know, like young boy, man, I feel like he get a lot of love. You know, what I'm saying it's a lot of people that fuck with him. You can tell by the views on YouTube. You can tell by how people listen to the shit. But why do you think he get a lot of hate too? I don't know. I think that's just. I just think that come with like uh, like greatness. Yeah, you feel me? You see it like just uh. Like in the battle, like oh, uh, we speak on, we speak on like Michael Jackson. A lot of people say like a lot of good things about Michael Jackson. And a lot of people say like a lot of bad things about Michael Jackson. And we talk about LeBron James. A lot of people say a lot of good things about LeBron. And they say a lot of bad things. Kobe, rest in peace to Kobe. But like a lot of people say a good thing about Kobe, and then they say a lot. They just come with like what they got going on, or like what like they just come with it. Or like people just go. A lot of people go hate. A lot of people go. People don't want you to be great. Like yeah. people see the greatness in you and still try to like, like salt you down or like throw salt on your name or like, you know, like pussy shit. Like you know, but women lie, men lie, numbers don't lie. Though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. top selling, top selling, go platinum, go gold on everything. Or uh, the top YouTube artists or. Uh, Fuck, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, numbers, numbers don't lie, like, you know. Uh, fuck what they gotta say, like, shit. He like that, like, he that. Like, I feel like, uh, he the, this generation, like, and this generation right here, I feel like, he that, like. You like the Tupac? Yeah, like, fuck it, I see it. Um, and nigga scared to say, I see it. Why be is this generation Tupac, he this generation Jay-Z, he this right. generation Wayne, he, Whatever fuck, any, any, any nigga you want to put out there like that, I feel like my little cousin Roy and all of them. Yeah. And then what it is, he speak to your heart. Man, I be, man, that my fucking cousin, man. Like that fucking, uh, that John Simmons in him. I ain't tell you, by a crowd that song. They talk, drop real tears to that song. Like, dude just hard, like he just, but I been on this though, like dude was like 12. I used, like we used to be sitting in traps and shit like, Take the dude to Glen Oaks, take the dude to Scotland and shit. We, you be sitting in traps and shit, nigga be like, oh. Like, he'll be rapping and shit. And I just be like, wrong. Like, real, like, street niggas and shit. You know, I ain't gonna say no names and shit, but like, be wrong. Real street niggas and like, dude to get the rapping and shit. And like, niggas would just be sitting there like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, yeah, pressure, like, he. Like, he always been like older mentally too, right? Like, he always been like the. Yeah, like. Yeah, like, like the older niggas and shit. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. He been way more mature than his years, or like, way more like advanced more than his years, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he grew around a lot of like, like grew around a lot of like older people, like older people, or like more advanced niggas and shit like that, and uh, like, you know, all his friends and shit, like uh, everybody too. Like that he screen gang or like that's in gang and shit, B B, Ben, all of them like them being his friends and shit, like gang been his friends and shit, but like outside of that, like he grew around like more like older, like mature, like niggas that was out really in the streets or like niggas that were really like living like that or uh, you know, like shit like that. What's a big misconception about young boy that people, you know what I'm saying, might think? I don't know why. I think the big misconception is, uh, I don't know, bro. I guess the shit like, uh, people think I be, I be on the ground. People like, uh, he always mad, uh, woo, 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 like, he ain't, like, that shit, though, like, uh, that shit kind of, like, gets him sometimes. Like, oh, he always mad, or he always, that shit ain't true. That shit just, uh, like, Instagram perception or, like, uh, like the, you know, uh, like the perception of like social media shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, yeah. shit. He young and hell. He young. He young and hell. Young, rich motherfucker. 
Yeah. Like any other young rich nigga, see, turn up just like any other young nigga. Yeah. What a bag. A big bag. <laughs> big old bag. <laughs>